Hi! Today I got uh, two packets that I want to open. Um, this one later. And this is something I have waited for for two days. <laughs> no, but I planned um, to buy it for half a year already. And let me just show you what it is. So it's a, a really small hammer drill. I hope it's any good for concrete and so on. Because I have some holes to drill in the new home here. It doesn't come with any additional accessories, so no battery. And this is a brushless motor and we have an 18 volt uh, system and that's actually the system yeah that's a uh, how do you call this this fast um just check uh, concrete 17 17 millimeters steel 10 millimeters wood 13 millimeters so why did i buy this one so because i wanted um a separate hammer drill to the uh, common ones that I'm using that are cheap and with um, a cable so I wanted a battery powered system and I already bought another one for my birthday uh, last year and this is this one here in black so uh, it's a really cool drill and I uh, bought it without any hammer drill capabilities because I want to separate those things Whenever I'm drilling uh, wall and uh, concrete and stuff like that, it's very dusty and also it's another part that could break um, inside the drill. So I want this, this drill to be for steel and wood and screw and um, it should last for a very, very long time since I went also for the brushless uh, motor here. So I bought it with... Um, this one with uh, three batteries, so two 5 amp hour batteries and one 3 amp hour battery. It was like 250 euros with the charger and uh, the box. And uh, I bought it with uh, all the batteries since I wanted always to have a spare one. So and that would be like the 3 amp hour one. And whenever I buy um, a drill or I saw that uses two 18 volts uh, batteries, so I can use uh, those two 5 amp hour batteries there. So, let's try it. The batteries are charged. I have here this indicator. And. Okay. It's really light, and uh, I hope that's any good. But I don't have uh, the drills yet here yet. So I have to buy some. So uh, this is an STS plus chuck. So I don't have any of uh, the drills of this type yet. But uh, in a supermarket nearby, there is currently um, there is currently uh, a set. I don't know how much it costs. I have to check it off uh, drill bits so I can check them out. There. Let's try this one. Like this. And now I have uh, a separate drill for concrete. Nice. It also comes with this LED light. That's quite practical. What I hate uh, about drilling concrete is uh, all the dust. So I think I will uh, 3D print an add-on that uh, you can attach the uh, uh, vacuum to uh, yeah vacuum off the dust. So, oh yeah, okay. That's interesting. Cool. And what's in this box here? 
That's something we can test the drill on. And that's just another one of uh, these component compartments here that I have already and I have space for an additional one above my bench. So I just thought I would take it. Use it. I paid for all this stuff myself, but you can support uh, my channel and my projects by using the affiliate links in the description below. I hope you liked it uh, and uh, watch me drilling some holes after this. Okay, I'm back from the supermarket and the hardware store. So oh, these here uh, are from the supermarket. Norma, if you're looking for them. 13 euros as a yeah, cheap price. And uh, these are, let's say, big enough to get through a wall and, uh, and get a network cable through or something like that. I try to get a network cable in one, in the one corner of this room and I failed since it was concrete and I hope this one will get through. Okay, so these here and then I got some... That's funny. Uh, I didn't actually know that you can get Milwaukee equipment in Germany. That uh, That's what I uh, bought Makita stuff. Um, but in the local hardware store, actually, there I have only M Milwaukee stuff. So, I don't mind, I'm not very attached to any of these companies, except I was disappointed with Bosch in the past, that's why I'm not, not uh, buying Bosch stuff. Uh, currently, at least, uh, not the, uh, let's say, uh, drills. The sensors are good. So, this is SDS Plus stuff and let's uh, check out how, how you get in it. Yeah, that's easy. Okay, maybe I will show something um, it's out like that. Ooh, <laughs> it's full of gunk. Okay, yes, that's funny. Okay, focus, focus! Oh, screw you, I will focus manually like that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> So it's well, well oiled here, but um, yeah, I bought different uh, type of drills. Um, as you can see, there is a difference. So this um, five millimeter one, I bought this with actually, you can see it, four blades. So I think this will be tougher since it's so thin and getting it, getting it in concrete yeah, will be uh, yeah, risky, so I bought an expensive one. It's actually almost three times the price, like two and a half times the price. And, and these are the regular two blade ones. So the bigger ones, the six millimeter and eight millimeter I bought of this type, uh, which were like four euros a piece. Let's try a big one here. Oh, if I can get it out. The drill is obviously Nothing that you would use on a daily basis. So if you're a professional, uh, you probably uh, get a real thicker one. But these cost like 300 euros, and this is one around 100 euros if you get a good price. So uh, for my um, rare usage, it's good enough. I hope at least. And so I will try it. Kind of get the, 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 everything is full of oil. I oily thing. So let's try this one here. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> what the? I'm looking forward for the day where I will release the big ones. Um, and now let's let's get this uh, component compartment uh, on the wall. I think I will need six millimeters here. Yeah, yeah I think it was six or eight. Let's see. <laughs> 